Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is all about distance management and you're in charge of controlling it. All right, in today's video, we're talking about distance management and the ability to control it. Now, you're gonna hear me say in many of my videos, the single most important thing in combat fighting is distance management. You have to control the distance between you and your opponent. Offensively, it's important, and defensively, it's important, right? Hit and not get hit. But a lot of times when we start, we don't understand the full distance management, okay? So we're gonna try to break it down for you and give you more of an understanding that, yes, sometimes it's your opponent or your partner that is in charge of giving you that distance management. But a lot of times, you are responsible for it. So let's talk about it first, all right? So first things first, I'm gonna line up with Matt here, and this is our distance here. Now, when Matt puts out his jab, okay, if he can't hit me, but he's only one step from hitting me, that is called single distance. So even if Matt puts his hand down now, right, I can't hit Matt, but one step in, one step out, that's single distance. Now, you can talk about one and a half distance where Matt comes out, I still can't step one, I'm just a little bit off. One and a half distance is great for my kick fighting, right? One I love for boxing and counters. One and a half is great for kicks because look, punch can't hit me, but the kick could land. Then I, what I call double distance is when we were both straight armed and we can't touch. So say I'm an MMA fighter and I don't wanna be taken down and I'm cautious, I might want double distance. Or if someone's fast or aggressive, I need that little bit of extra timing. So I might go at double distance, small gloves, bigger risk, but kickboxing, I like to be in my one and a half too. So you'll learn where you are better. Are you a better two distance fighter, one and a half, one, but you gotta place yourself and put yourself into the range. So a nice example that I taught in my class the other day is we're using our kicks. Now, depending on double distance, one and a half and single, there's different types of kicks and steps that you can do. So the first one we learn is the step, right? So I take a little step here, I kick, and then I could exit out. I can do it to the body, right? I can step in, one step in, one step out. Now, say for example, I'm over here now. I'm one and a half distance. Now I can't, if I kick, I'm gonna miss. So I need to have the footwork to do it. So the footwork I teach is maybe a little tie hop. So I tie hop in, I close my distance, I step out. So I close the distance with that extra half distance with a tie hop, still got to my power position, and I gave a bigger exit now to maintain that one and a half distance. Now say I'm at double distance, okay? Here, I double distance, now I'll use a gallop because a gallop allows me to close more distance. So now, instead of my front leg lifting, my back leg lifts, boom, I replaced the front and now I got a kick. So now I just kick from double distance. So now, say for example, I close Matt's over here, I close the distance and Matt's moving, right? I can't, no, I know he's moving, so I'm gonna have to use closing distance. So I'm gonna use my gallop, so even though he's moving backwards, I can still close the distance and hit. The other thing you need to do when it comes to distance is understand the length of your weapon. So for example, if I'm here one and a half distance, right? I don't wanna be able to either over punch because I'm out of position, or if I'm too close, I don't wanna jam my weapon. Each one of your strikes is needs to be used at its maximum range and length. So when I jab, boom, I need full extension. That's my distance management. Boom, cross, I need to use it at full range. That's what helps me get that distance management. So not only when you talk about distance management, is it your foot position to your opponent, it's also how long you're using your strike, okay? All very important. Now, sometimes I do drills, right? I just showed you a double distance, one and a half, and a single distance style of kicking. Now, say Matt is stationary, and I still wanna use all three of those steps. I have to be able to control the range. Now, as a beginner, too many times you create the range. So example, if I know Matt's doing a gallop, Matt does a gallop, I move back for Matt to give him the perfect space. But a lot of times that's not what fighting is. You're interrupting distance, you're jamming distance, you're pulling away more so your opponent misses. So a lot of times that's not a realistic way of training your distance management. So the way I like to train it is I'm gonna keep Matt stationary, but I'm still gonna do all three types of footwork in a simultaneous kind of way, nice and flowing. So I'll use my single distance here, boom. 
I know I want to do a tie hop, so I exited out one and a half. I tie hop, boom. I come back long because now I know I'm going to gallop. So I was able to use three different types of closing distance footwork, all to get to the same weapon of using my kick. And I exit it and I know my range. Now, if we're fighting and I'm in this range, with experience, I'm going to know what step I need. So this is where training and practicing, you need to keep going and practicing those things, okay? Now, when we get to that more advanced setting, this is Matt evading or me staying long, keeping my distance. But a lot of times what happens is, in a realistic fight setting, Matt might be moving backwards and then he stops. And then say, for example, I'm mid gallop, I don't wanna come in and jam myself now. So one of the ways you can manage distance in a more advanced setting, that is with cutting angles and stepping out. So I might, for example, instead of galloping on a straight line, I might veer off now. So I was able to still use that same type of footwork now, but with an angle in a safer way. So now I'm at one and a half distance and I still want to use that gallop. I just come off to the side, okay? Or I can step out now, boom. So I'm using angles now when Matt becomes stationary to be able to continue to use my weapons at full range, okay? So a quick little recap for you. Understanding distance management is important, but we all can't do it when it comes to pad work, when it comes to drills. You can't always rely on your partner or your opponent to give you that perfect distance management. So learning different types of footwork, different ways of closing the distance and evading is all important, right? Just another straight example of a one-two. If Matt's too far, I can't go. So I might have to use a gallop to hit to the one-two. Now he's stationary, so I might come here and I might create an angle and then still move on an angle to maintain distance management. So as you get more advanced, you wanna start using angles to maintain the full range of your attacking. Okay, so distance management can mean a lot of things. That's the main thing of this video. Footwork moving in, footwork moving out. Not moving in too much, not evading too much where now you can't counter. So the perfect amount of distance management comes with experience. Not only is it footwork, it's how long you use your technique and using it at its most longest range and where it is most powerful. Okay, hope you understand a little bit more about distance management now and how to train it and get better with it because ultimately that's gonna make you the best fighter in the world. Okay, make sure you keep liking and subscribing to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Make sure you share with your friends, support the channel by supporting our sponsors, Hayabusa, by going to Hayabusa Fight, linked in the description below. Perfect sports nutrition using code Bazooka20 gets you 20% off of your supplements. Last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online training and curriculum taught by me, brand new videos every single week, and they're divvied up between pad work and bag works. We have home videos, sparring drills, tutorials, all for you to study, learn at home. Best part, less than $10 a month with brand new videos every single week. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. 
So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.